Uh, hello, everybody. I just wanted to uh, welcome uh, President Kama uh, to the Oval Office and uh, to make a brief statement about uh, Botswana and its relationship to the United States. Although uh, Botswana is not a large country, uh, it is truly uh, one of the extraordinary success stories in Africa since the mid-60s. Uh, it has moved on a path of uh, good economic uh, management and outstanding political governance. And as a consequence, uh, you have seen uh, extraordinary improvements in, in living standards uh, over the last uh, 40 years in Botswana that really are an envy for much of uh, the rest of the continent. Not only has Botswana shown itself to be uh, an outstanding success, but it's also been a great partner uh, to the United States. And our governments uh, have cooperated extensively uh, throughout the years. Uh, President Kama, uh, I think, has been uh, showing his own uh, extraordinary leadership in helping to move his country forward uh, on a range of issues from how to deal with the HIV AIDS crisis, to addressing uh, economic development, to dealing with some of the uh, regional problems uh, that exist. Uh, on each of these areas, uh, I think Botswana has been a real leader. And so we want to just uh, express our appreciation for uh, the outstanding work that uh, successive governments in Botswana have been able to accomplish. We are grateful for the friendship between the people of the United States and Botswana, and I'm looking forward to continuing uh, that strong partnership uh, in the years to come. So, welcome. Yeah. I certainly passed on my appreciation to President Obama for having had the opportunity to meet with him and to share views about the bilateral cooperation that we have had between our two countries. Um, areas on trade, areas on health, and also to share how both countries are tackling this current economic downturn. And we also had uh, opportunities to talk about environmental issues, climate change, and the upcoming Copenhagen Summit. And lastly, also about um, regional issues and how we can try and go about entrenching uh, democracy uh, both in the mindset and the way we go about all our activities in, on the continent, the African Union in particular. And I would just like to thank you, Mr. President, once again for having given me this opportunity to share my thoughts with you. Thank you very much.